there's someone at the door. I wonder who that could be. Perhaps it's the 200 subscribers I have now. Thank you very much, everyone. Now, come in, come in. That's it. Close the door behind you. You're letting the cold in. Would you like a cup of coffee? Of course you would. And by coffee, I mean coffee. Yes. Get that down your guts. And let me give you a tour of the wild winter homestead. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. This is it. This is our home. We no longer sleep in a caravan. Warm your hands by the fire. Get toasty. Get those nipples no longer hard as rock or diamonds. And just calm down. All right, here we go. Let me give you the tour. All right, kitchen, chessboard over there. I got some, like, juice or something. Oh, what is that up there, actually? Yeah, juice. All right. And let's see what we got in here. Ah, oh, the bathroom. Uh, some weeds coming through the floor. Just beautiful. Now, I told you in the last episode... Oh! I told you in the last episode we had this done and ready for you guys. And here it is. Bam! Look at this. Wow. Look, I got my own soap. It says farm on it. Yep, I got an oil can in here for some reason or other, but what do we got in here? Look at this. Step in. <laughs> Don't get nervous now. Don't be a nervous Nelly. Look. Nothing's going to happen, all right? Step in. Look at this bedroom. My God. And then I've got an, a magical door hologram right here. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Now, step outside with me and let me show you out the back. Ah. Oh. Just remember to close the door behind you. God damn. Assholes! All right. Look at this. We got our steps down to what eventually will be, you know, this will all be cleared and logged. We're going to make money out of all this and we, we're going to need to because if you look up at the top the screen after everything I've done, I have $46 left to my name. All right. 46 bucks. So we gotta do some bloody work and get out there and as you can see too that the snow has arrived and uh, whilst it looks beautiful it's gonna make our lives a lot more difficult. Anyway, put your coat on, let's go, I'll show you the outside. BAM! Look at this! Isn't that gorgeous ladies and gentlemen, this is the wild winter Homestead. Yes, sir. And ma'am. Now, what else is new? You may... Those with a keen eye may spot something. All right? Look up there. What else have we spent money needlessly on? Ah, oh, more growing um, greenhouses. Yes. And also a way to power it. A small wind turbine. We needed the more oomph for the lights, so... We've got it in. The ground's all torn up. It's all... I've checked the pH. It's all ready to go. The only thing we need is seeds and water and all that sort of good stuff. So, and as you know, we've got to go buy it. And we don't have the money. So that's what we're going to be doing today. What we do have up our sleeves, ladies and gentlemen, is the wood turner has finally finished some pallets... Uh, of stuff that we dropped off to him. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go pick them up and go sell them at the markets and make some money. Now, this is not going to be easy. As you can see, the snow is deep. Deep. And, uh, yeah, we have to somehow tow not only the Kubota, but the trailer, and the actual uh, pallets themselves. But what do you think? What do you reckon, guys? How does that look? Beautiful or what? Hey, we finally got a real home. The fire's roaring inside and... Oh, it just makes me moist. All right. Let's give this old rig a cold start. Get ready to start the day. Hope she starts. 
Come on now, girl. You got this. Yes. <laughs> now, let's turn that down. Just, just a nut here. There we go. Now, hopefully all my settings are still intact. Oh, like, whoa, shit. Nearly backed into my new house. Now, this, as you can see, already we are struggling in this snow. I have no idea how we are going to be able to get pallets and even pick up logs and stuff like that. It's going to be very interesting because we certainly can't afford a snowblower at the moment. So, it's just going to be a bumpy, bumpy ride until we can wear some tracks in. Let's get this hooked up. Another goal that we have, ladies and gentlemen, is I need a shed. I want a workshop. I don't want to be working and storing all my tools in the caravan anymore. Let's back it up. Now, you get out there in the cold and hook it up for me, would you? YouTube. Oh, it's 200 of you. I'm sure you can work it out. That's right, 200. A massive thank you to all of you who have subscribed and liked and commented with questions and things of that nature. I muchly appreciate. I never thought I would get even a hundred of uh, you legends. So, as you might be aware, I'm pretty stoked. Now, another thing too. I'm just back from uh, Knotfest and seeing Pantera in Sydney. In the shitty city. And my god, what a show. Fantastic. Uh, it was a great day out. But you can probably hear that my throat is stripped out. Pretty hard. It's worse than uh, Silly Sally after a uh, $2 Sunday suck-off special at the uh, local Woolies car park, so yeah, my voice might sound a bit raspy, but hey, do I sound sexy? Uh, not so uh, boganish. Now let's get on with it. Let's get this Kubota out of the way. We have to get the lappy out. Uh, start the motor. Whoa! What happened? There's a very sensitive little spot. There it is. You gotta be standing in the exact right spot to get this to work. Now we'll move the Kubota. Let's get this out. Yeah, we're gonna to have to think of some way to clear this snow a bit. It's gonna be, it's gonna make life very difficult. I can see that. All right. Look how deep it is, man. And it's only just the start of winter. I mean, this snow could be over the roof of the house for all I know by the time we get to the end of January or February. All right, let's back it up. Oh, got all these motors run. Thankfully, all the batteries are still working. Let's get on back. Get these log legs off. Now, as you may have noticed, we skipped a fair bit of time. It, it took a few weeks to get that house up and going. And uh, I missed you all for that. But me and Ronnie and Davo and Simo, mate, we got it bloody up in no time. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yep, keep it on that. Uh, bam. There we go. Let's do that. Get those log legs off. I think they're actually called log forks from memory. Right! Oh, wrong vehicle. And we need to load up the Kubota. I legitimately have no idea if this is going to even work. Oh, shit. Might help if you hooked it up. Guys. <laughs> Slackos, come on. What are you doing? All right. Am I stuck already? Oh yeah, because the ramps are out. <laughs> uh, what are we stuck on? I think it's the... <laughs> what 
what are we stuck on? We might not get anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the end of the show. Just stuck in the snow right here. Have to go inside for some coffee and hot chocolate. Well, there's only one thing for it. No. For fuck's sake! There! Jesus! Uh oh. <laughs> I thought I was stuck there too. Oh man, this is. This is gonna be very interesting, guys. Look at how. F it's gonna be so easy to get bogged, and if we do, we are in trouble because. I only have 40 bucks to my name. Alright. Uh oh. Whoa! Okay, we are really stuck. Is that a glitch or something, or...? What's going on? Maybe it's the straps. Did that help? Yeah, so something glitched out with the straps there. That's alright. Now we'll go up here on the flat ground to load up. And yes, as I was saying, we need more seeds! Water, we have a plenty, but we are going to need seeds for this, uh, for this second grow house. Oh, and that's what we should do. Before I leave, we'll leave these things warming up. Turn this off. Um, where is it? Stop engine. There it is. Now, come inside and in the warmth for a minute <laughs> while well, I show you a few things because I don't think I've ever actually shown you what is in this mod the tractor's fine running out there get let's get around the fire real quick <sighs> okay here we go let's have a look shall we this is the cannabis DLC there's lots of different types of grow houses we'll, we'll take the camera up here where you can sort of see all right, so we're, we're looking on the internet now, all right? We've got the laptop out. We're looking on the internet for uh, future plans, so to say. This is what we really want, but we need $90,000. And we will. We're going to have multiple of these eventually. And we could take a bank loan, but I don't want to... Uh, be in debt that large just yet. Now, there's lots of different greenhouses, as I was saying. These are the ones that we're using. All right. Now, look at this. We have ways of processing as well. And I do plan on building all of these. So, this is probably the one we need next. The drying room. Okay. So... A drying room and a trimming room, really. These are going to be fairly important to us. For our future plans! Packing facility, of course. But as you can see, we've got a long way to go. Alright. There's a seed collector. Now, we've got some silos here. Pretty self-explanatory. The stores, you know. Um, look at that. I mean, squiggles. I just, you know, I love your work, mate. I love your work. Look at these factories and stuff. Hey, eh? We could make hash brownies and shit. Oh, it's just, oh, sorry, hash. Um, but what I would like to do is make hash coins. Yes. <laughs> just like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. We'll pay for everything in hash coins. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen or played this mod, you're doing yourself a disservice. Go and join up on... <laughs> Look at the fucking... The effort that's gone into this, man. <laughs> Go and join uh, Squiggles on Facebook, all right? Do it now! And then come back and finish watching this shit, all right? 
because it's amazing. Right? And last of all, look, he's got houses and way. And look here, if you're not sure how to use the mod and where to even start, just slap down this billboard for a hundred bucks, right? And it tells you everything you need to know. All right. Yeah, as I said, I don't think I've ever actually showed you this in any detail. But uh, now I have. So you can't call me Slack. Boom. There's even a big player house with a shed. One day we'll own something like this, but for now... Nine! We don't have the money or the capabilities. Now, are you warmed up? Are you lubricated sufficiently with coffee? And, uh... Let's get on the road. Right. Oh, actually, we've got to change the forks out, don't we? Now, I think I'm getting sick. As well as my throat being stripped out. It's one of you bloody dirty, shitty city people probably coughed on me or something. There was like 20,000 people jammed into a small space. Right, let's get this off. Um... That one. Boom. We've got to be real careful, as I said. Whoa, something just happened to the audio. I hope that didn't come out. Oh, and another thing. You legends, I hopefully I have finished. Oh, I've finished. I've fixed. The stuttering issue. Now, apparently there's a thing called a GPU. And, uh, I was maxing out that GPU too hard. And then, so I jumped, I jumped on YouTube and I figured out how to do it. And hopefully, all of those issues I've had are fixed now. I've spent a few hours trying to get it working and I've actually gone and watched some of my stuff like some recording to see if it's fixed so it should be please god please be fixed all right let's get this up here and again thank you to everyone who has commented and had a yarn i do appreciate it all right oh geez bloody freezing up here all right wouldn't mind getting a tractor with a cab one of these days but we ain't no pansy now, don't forget, the rooster will probably appear uh, spilling through the mic at any moment. I've started recording. When he hears my voice, he comes a-running. So if you hear the rooster outside, I apologise. Just laugh about it. That's all I can do. Unless I go shoot him. But I might do a video on that rooster and just show you exactly what happens. Um, yeah. All right. We got the forks. Oh, shit. I just realized what I forgot. And we are going to need it. God damn it. This is all your fault, chat. I don't know why I'm saying chat. I'm sort of done with live streaming at the minute. I think the way to do it is... I'm going to focus on here. Try and build a community of you legends and larrikins and... And then we can look at some live streaming. When we get to 500, I want to do a live stream here on YouTube. Sitting around the campfire and uh, having a few beers together. Maybe split some firewood and, and just do it all live. But firstly, I just want... I need more of you legends. We need more power! That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Fucking look at this snow, man. Holy shit. Now, the one thing we forgot, which we're going to get now, is the weight. And before we go anywhere, we're going to put on some more weight. Because last time, we nearly uh, tipped the tractor. And that would not be a good thing to do. I can imagine that in the snow it's going to be twice as bad. Alright. Now it will actually disconnect again, won't it? Which is shit. 
So let's put it low, so when it drops off, it doesn't... Um, do I need to start the engine? Oh, shit! No, there we go. Alright. We need more weight! How much is that? Five? Let's go the full seven. Oh, shit, I don't have the money! No! <laughs> Oh, well. We've got what we've got. We've got what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. I think the logging box is actually about 400 kilos. But we'll just have to manage with what we got here. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. But doesn't this land look beautiful in the snow? My God. Now, I know most of you guys watching are Americans. Cheers to you guys. The American Brotherhood, yes. Now, I often see America as Australia's bigger brother. You're like the big guy watching over us in the in the playground. We may stay... Yeah, us little Aussies may say a lot of stupid shit. Fucking pick on bigger guys than us. Much bigger. But that's only because we've got you Yankees standing behind us. With a big fucking dildo. And, uh... Ready to play. Ready to party. Alright, let's get on to, uh... Was it Barry's house? Bobby's house? Can never remember their names. Let's get on with it. We just gotta take it easy, because... If I get stuck... Well, I guess we've got the Kubota, we could dig us out. Dig ourselves out. But if I roll over or something like that, we're in deep shit. Alright? Can't even see the road. <clears throat> Alright, let's get underway. Now, hopefully this footage is working out beautifully. I had to turn the settings down in-game a little bit. I had them, you know, cranked up a bit high. Which was fine when I was playing. But when you're recording as well, you, you can't be pummeling your system that hard, is apparently, is what I've learned. But hopefully it should be nice and clear, a nice clear screen for you, and it shouldn't be jutting like the last two bloody episodes. Oh, I couldn't believe it when the second one did it too. I thought I had it fixed, but I'm just stupid, all right? All right now, we're in first gear. Let's just rev it hard. We are at full throttle. I just want to keep those revs up. The momentum fairly slow. And now we're going to pummel it into second. Get a run up. Let's go. Come on, old girl. Get up there. You can do it. You can do it. I hope I'm going the right way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. First gear, first gear. Shit. We've started to spin. Problems. We have a problem. Can I turn into the hill a bit? Uh. Well. <laughs> shit. Okay, I've got an idea. Oh, fuck. This may be a really bad idea. Actually, no, let's not play with that. Let's get back down the hill and give it another go, shall we? This is the struggles of the Wild Winter Homestead, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you for watching and subscribing. 200... Man. 200 legends on my side. We will be all powerful. And mighty! Alright. Not even God himself will stop us. Alright. And definitely not going to stop this old F truck. We just need more speed. More power. Alright. Let's go. Full power! Come 
Come on now, old girl. You can do it. You can do it. Come on! No! Thought I might be able to... Oh, shit! Do not jackknife. I thought I might be able to get some more momentum there. Well, as you can see, our life is already <laughs> a lot more difficult now that the snow has finally arrived. That's all right. We'll get there. Don't you worry. The Bogans, he's got a plan. And it probably doesn't involve backing down into the woods. So let's get out of here if we can. Look at these reversing skills. I am using a steering wheel. If you didn't know. Oh, shit. Okay, let's back it up. Back it up. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Now, can I get out here? Shift into gear. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now, I might try a zigzag approach. How do you guys do it over there in real life? That's. I'd like to know that. How does one go about getting up a snowy slope like this? in real life because I'm Australian i got no idea we, if I get snow it's like up to my ankle deep max so yeah I don't think we can do this hill <laughs> shit where are we let's have a look here man <laughs> oh no oh we got so far to go How we're not even going to be able to get up those hills are we it's just not going to happen. We need more power. Hmm. If we turn around and head to the main road, I know those roads up there are going to be, these roads here are going to be just as steep, if not worse. I think the only thing I can do is try to just drive the Kubota up the hill. It's going to be slow, though. Whew. Okay. I guess we have to give it a try, don't we? Let's turn around. <laughs> I can't believe how... F we got nowhere... <laughs> I knew this was going to be more of a challenge. But I don't think I realised just how much harder <laughs> this was going to be in the fucking snow. <laughs> Alright. And I've hit a tree. Uh-oh. Come on, forward. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's get back home. We're going to do this. We're going to try it in the Kubota. And if not from there, well, I don't know. We'll have to think about what we're going to do. We may have to load up some logs and earn some money that way. Because we got 46 bucks. And I, 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 I am going to owe more than 100 by midnight. I know that for certain. Because production, you know, paying the, uh, the wood turner to make these things for me it's cost a lot of money already, hundreds of dollars. So the profit we are going to make from these is not as great as what we would like. Now, another thing I can check is if I've got another pallet of uh, weed ready to go. And maybe we do, so let's go check that out. Look at that house coming through the trees. Just beautiful. 
the homestead's coming along. Let's get up here. We can park it right. Beautiful. All right, drop the ramps. Un, not unconnect. Disconnect the things. Yeah. All right. That's the wrong way. There we go. Now, either way, if the pallet is ready, we'll chuck that in the ute. Go deliver it. Um, and if not, we'll. Connect the trailer to the Kubota and see if we can drive it up the hill there. There's not going to be any cops on these roads at the moment, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Yes, just. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? Um, spawn. Boom. Oh, that's right. They're down the front, aren't they? Shit. Well, we won't need anything to unload it, but we'll get this down to the boys. That should give us about a thousand bucks. Hopefully. But yes, I think we might have a better chance of success getting up these mountains in the Kubota. Alright, let's get it loaded up. Now, I'm trying to do more third person. Because I think it's better for you guys to watch. But if he's like first person, you just let me know. I don't know. I'm not going to ever be able to please everybody. But, uh... Um... Shit. It's just a lot harder to do this in third person. Boom. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the heat coming out of these greenhouses just melting the snow for us beautifully. All right. So we'll disconnect the trailer. All right. Let's go forward. And then back. Drop the tailgate. Yes. Excellent. It's freezing out here. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got your coats on. All right. Let's get this in. Back it up. Bloody beautiful. Push it forward a little bit between the wheel wells. It wouldn't be that heavy, but... Alright. Let's get this hooked up to the trailer. It's going to be a slow, slow drive up there, so I hope you are ready to run behind the tractor. You run alongside. Don't worry, I'll shout slogans at you so you can keep up. Nope, wrong button. Fuck! See? Lance, I love your mod, but she needs some work, mate. She needs a bit of work, because now that thing, every time you take it off, it, it tips over like that. And I've got to cheat to get the fucking thing back on. Fucking pain in the cock. As I said, I love the mod, but man. Okay. I certainly couldn't do any better. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. Please. Please forgive me, Lance. I love you. Oh shit. Um. Boom. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Kubota is hooked on. Hopefully, it can push, I mean, pull this weight. 
Yes. All right, let's get it over to the house. Or close, oh, to the road, sorry. Then we'll grab the uh, truck and head down to uh, the boys at the weed shop. All right, let's go. Let's take a walk through the weed. <laughs> oh, smell that cannabis, boys. Yes. <laughs> My God. All right. Delicious. Now, better strap. Put the strap on. On. All right. Strap on is on. Boom. Let's ride. Now, without that weight, we should be all right. Hopefully, we can get back up here. Otherwise, we might be walking through the woods. Seems to be easier. The old 12 valve is a beast, but... You know, pulling a Kubota up a steep slope like that... Just too much for the old girl. That's all right. We've got a thousand bucks here. That'll help us pay off um, Bobby and Simo from uh, doing their wood turning for us. And when we can eventually get that, we should make a little bit of money off those as well. So we'll be ahead at least. We'll be in the green. Hopefully everything's running smooth and looks good. I guess, what are we going to talk about here? Let's go in first person. Look at that. How are you guys? Sit down here. Let me rub your leg. Yes, yes. Um, let me tell you about Knotfest. We had a blast, me and the boys. And if any of you were there... Let me know down in the comments. Um, Centennial Park in Sydney. Now, I haven't been to Sydney for a long, long time. Now, I live out here in the, wil in the wilderness, in the hills. And man, it was a spin out going back and seeing all those buildings and being jammed in with all those people. Been quite a while since I've been to a show as well. So, uh, it was great. Had an absolute blast. Zach and Charlie, man, they filled in for Diamond Vinny. They did an excellent job, hey. Like, it was so good. It really was. Um, you know, as I said before, I had my doubts about Charlie Benente when it first was announced. I was like, what the fuck? You know, Zach was always going to be in for Dime. There was no... If any, uh, if anyone else was going in for Dime, I, I probably would chuck a shit. But... Uh, yeah, Charlie Benente came out of left field. But man, was I wrong. He was awesome. And I'd seen a lot of footage online of them playing. But watching him live, man, he had Vinny nailed to a T, man. Like, it was perfect. Um, He was really the standout of the whole show. I mean, Rex sounded fucking awesome, too. Oh, he was unbelievable, actually. Um, fat bass tone, just blasting. Nearly hit the brown note. I shit myself. It was so fucking epic. Yeah, Phil and Selmo, all the crew, man. I was just a fucking good show. Got to see the Who. I love the Who. <laughs> Doing that mad throat singing shit. So awesome. So so awesome. Yes, let me know down in the comments. Have any of you ever seen Pantera back in the day when it was the original guys? Or have you seen them more recently with uh, the fill-ins? Or, as I like to call it, the Legacy Tour. All right? Well, that, I think they call it that too, so. But, uh, yeah, what a great show, man. 
and uh, got beaten up and bloody, and yeah, my throat is stripped raw. Man, I was fucking screaming every word. It's fantastic, man. What a show. Memorable night. Very memorable. But yes, with that, uh, that was my weekend. It was awesome. How was all y'all's weekend? Did you have a good time? What did you do? Let me know. I like hearing from you. Please, don't be afraid to write. You know, down in the comments there. I like replying and I love reading the comments. It's cool. As I said, I, I live out in the middle of nowhere, so... I don't have a lot of human interaction other than my family. Uh, so, get around there. I like replying and uh, reading your comments. Makes my day. All right. There we go. Whoop, went too far. Let's get this on, 95. Let's see what we come out with. Yeah, just over a thousand bucks. All right, that's all right, look. All right, cheers, boys. There they are, Cheech and Chong. That's dog shit, man. All right. Let's have a look here. Can't we all just get a bong? Hell yeah, brother. Limited edition hookah tobacco. Up in smoke. Hey! <laughs> uh, that's cool. Is that a pipe? What the fuck? <laughs> Look at this, man. Squiggles, you're you're a god. I love your work, man. I love your work. Please keep it coming. All right, let's get on home. Let's get on home. Cheers, fellas! Thank you for... Uh, buying my high-grade dope. Now, how are we going for fuel? Uh, we're fine. We don't need to fill up today. But we will cut through the servo. Alright, rose clear. Let's go. Now, the snow plows have been down here doing their job. That's good. It's something we're going to have to think about, too. Getting a snow plow. For now, I don't want to be spending any of my hard-earned $1,000. Um, if I had a little bit more money up... Our, if we had a bit more money up our sleeves, we'd be all right. But, yeah, digging those... Um, trees and stuff out of the snow. It's going to be tricky. But when we get home, we'll go to... When we get home, man, we will jump in the Kubota and go and see Bobby up the hill and see what he has for us. Oh, I think it's Bobby. Actually, I better check. We'll break out the laptop when we get home. Sit by the fire for a sec. Have another coffee. And then... Uh, have a look. See where we actually need to go. Because I was just thinking... If it's the other place, I can just go the long way around on the ploughed roads. and it Might be alright. Let's get down in a second. Second gear. And then we're gonna hit it. Get around this corner. Alright, go. Oh shit! Whoa! Bit too much power. Alright. Pretty cool fucking burnout though. Alright, let's get straight as we can. 
Now hit it! Power! Easy. Easy. Let's not spin out. Easy. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have done it! My god! Yeah. While I remember, I do other videos other than just farm sim now. I know these are the most popular. It's the reason most of you are here. But please, go look at some of my reviews for a laugh. Right. Go check out some of my other vidges. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't want to typecast myself into farming sim videos alone. Uh, I want to do what I want to do and have fun. Now, I don't really... It doesn't bother me too much if no one watches the other ones. And uh, But it would be nice to have some feedback on those ones. I'd like to do some more actual live farming like um, on, on my little homestead here. Like do some videos around my place and uh, go from there. I've got a drone and I have ordered myself some mics and a camera stand so I can stop using um, chunks of firewood as my camera mounts. So we'll see how we go. Might do some proper uh, farm videos. All right. Let's turn that off. What a rig. What a beautiful rig. All right. Oh, that's what we've got to do. We've got to look, don't we? ADHD is kicking in real hard. Let's get in here. Oh, shit. Good work on closing the door there. All right. Man. It's time. Hmm. Well. We may even finish the episode off there. I want to try and keep them about an hour long. Because I have noticed on the anal y ticks or the analytics, that no one really watches past half an hour. There's a couple of years. So I think the episodes are just a little bit too long. So we'll do hour. An hour is a good amount of time. We can get a little bit done like we just did. We got, you know, we've done the tour. You know what I didn't do, actually, before we stop? I forgot to give you a tour upstairs. Look, see? Here. Got our view out the window. Look, my computer desk. This is where I upload videos. Look, I've got my dildo just there. You know. Um, living large. Now, let's look while we're up here. Um, don't look at my search history. Who has my stuff? Uh, yeah, so Bobby up the hill. He's got almost four pallets of, uh, timber for us milled up. And actually, he's got some up the road. You reckon we could make a bit more? No. Oh, we'll do it next episode. Next episode. That's what we got to do. Right, we tried this one and we failed miserably. All right. Um, and in the next one, you will see, hopefully, me getting those pallets and timber and getting it on down to the farmer's markets. All right. And uh, yeah, we will leave that there. Thank you very much, guys. And, uh, actually, no. And what is the time? Is it actually time to go yet? Because I feel like... We've got ten minutes. We've got ten minutes. Let's fucking do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, we're going up the road to old mate. Um, Simo. 
can't actually. I've got to remember their fucking names. All right, let's get this out of the way. Park this under the shelter over here. That might help keep the battery alive a bit. Boom. Oh, I just morphed through the fucking thing. All right. We can do this. We can go up there and then drop off a pallet to the farmer's markets. Let's do it. <laughs> Engine's warmed up. Come on. Come on, old girl. Come on. Again, we should say thank you to all the modders out there. I love you guys. You're the only ones really making this game worth worth playing. You legends, and I wish I had your skill and talent, but I don't, because I'm a fool and an old man. I know that's no excuse. All right, let's go. Oh, we need the fucking Kubota. Shit. We need the Kubota, don't we? I nearly drove all the way there without having a way to load the fucking pallet on. Come on! Let's go! We can do this. It's all downhill. Getting back uphill is going to be the trick. But we'll worry about that next time. Come on! We can do this. We can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Strap it on. I know that weight's at the very back, but I don't care. Let's ride. We've got two pallets that can earn us a bit of money. We're going to go do it right now. Hell yeah. Let's go. Man. Now, hopefully, Simo's place isn't inundated with snow. That's going to be the next thing. Hopefully, we can get down this slope uh, without spinning out of control. So, we're about to find out, I guess. Let's take it real easy here. Real easy. Not dangerous at all. No, sir. Let's get the put the drone out in the sky. Look at that. Following us. Just beautiful. Absolutely stunning, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why, but I, I love the snow. I wish I lived in a place where it snowed way more. I really do. Um, I know some of you uh, have said you're from Canada as well, and that's cool. I legitimately thought about moving to Canada, moving the family there, but with Justin Trudeau, uh, nah. I'll be right, thanks. Maybe when that Polyev, Polyev, Poly, Polyev, maybe when he gets in and the country doesn't, you know, shut down your bank accounts for disagreeing with them, uh, with disagreeing with the government, man. I thought Australia was fucking, like, corrupt, but that's fucked. That is really fucked. Um, and I feel sorry for you guys. I really do. You've got a beautiful country. And every Canadian I've ever met has been the just nicest, coolest person. Um, but, yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like that niceness has 
you've been taken advantage of by scum. Alright. Now, let's go. We've got to go the long way. It's going to go over the hour mark, but that's alright. That's alright. Hopefully, you guys will still get this far. You can always skip ahead anyway, so that's the beauty of YouTube over Twitch. When shit gets boring, just skip ahead. Look at this. Look at this. Is that a thumbnail right there? That could be a thumbnail. Yeah, try not to crash. What about this, actually? Uh, yeah, nah. Alright, we'll keep the drone in the air. Stay in third person. I think it's more... A Let me know what you think. Is third person better to watch? Or is first person? You let me know. Whoa, those sunflowers don't have any snow texture, I guess. And man, I hope this footage has worked out. <laughs> I really do. Um, I've tested it now, and it was working fine. So if for whatever reason this episode comes out and it's still stuttery, I'm really, really sorry. Oh, but I'm, I'm trying here, ladies and gentlemen. I've learned a lot. Like, I know fucking dick about computers and stuff, right? I've basically just followed a couple of YouTube guys that said, yeah, download OBS and, you know, do this and do that. And I just hit go, you know. Just hit record and fucking go. Beautiful. Uh oh. We've got a bit of a hill here. But we should be right because there's no snow. They've done a good job play on this road. Let's go down in a second though. Keep the revs high. Come on. Revs are foot is flat to the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Flat to the goddamn floor. Come on now, get up there. Easy peasy. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The old 12 valve doesn't fuck around, alright? Not bad for an old pee pump, hey? No common rail fuel injection here. Just full blown cheech factory. Yes, yes! <laughs> I love it. I wish they were more common here in Australia. It's very hard to find a 12 valve or even a 24 valve Cummins diesel in this country and if you do man prepare your ass for a, a good rogering because it's gonna cost you it will cost you look at this scenery isn't it magic isn't it magic and you know what I just realized I've had the time on like <laughs> It was on half before. So no time has passed. I'm wondering why it wasn't getting, like, darker. That's right. I like to keep it on five. 
uh, during this playthrough because we'll be at episode 100 before this snow pisses off otherwise. Whoa, easy now. But yeah, we have big plans ahead. When we get the money spare, we're going to get a logging machine and do a lot of logging, clearing out, things like that. Get the whole property looking mint. We're going to buy some actual farmland too, eventually. Full speed. Full speed. Easy. Easy. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a four times map. So it's fairly big. It's a long drive. But there is an Australian map coming out very soon. It may even be out today um, by Aussie Modding Co-op. A 16 times Australian themed map. I am going to be downloading that and having a look at it. <clears throat> Maybe I can do something on that too. Yeah, sort of, the, obviously, the more of you legends and larrikins that sign up and subscribe, and the more time I can devote to doing this. But I do want to do videos other than Farm and Sim too, so... I do, uh, I love that game Shadows of Doubt, putting my detective hat on and doing that shit. It's awesome. <clears throat> and I'll probably do another video like that. Now, that's what I should talk about too. I had a couple of episodes of Skyrim up. I have unlisted them because the quality was just so fucking bad. I don't want to put my name to those. Um, and I was happy with how the gameplay went, but the actual footage was so artifacty and just trash so that's I've, I've got rid of them they're gone but hopefully I, I can get this Skyrim mod working for more than 10 minutes before it completely breaks and do original scheme of history yes so I'd like to do some characters there and permadeath you know they only have short lives but uh should be a laugh. Alright, how's it looking in here? Oh, no worries at all. No worries at all. Wait for this car. Alrighty, let's pick up these two pallets. Beautiful. Uh, here will do, I guess. All right. Get these straps off. Zemo! Zemo! Oi! Hey, you home? Yeah, mate. Just here to pick up these, uh... These staircases, I guess. Beautiful. All right. Um, what am I do? Um, automatic irrigation. What the fuck are you talking about? All right. Spawn items. Here we go. We got two pallets of staircase. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful work, mate. I love it. I love your work. Let's get the Kubota out. Get these pallets on up and down to the. Down to the uh, farmer's market. I'm going to go third first person because it's just easier. Oops. That leveled out. <laughs> Not very straight, but that'll do. <laughs> Lower the arms. If any of you use machinery like this in real life, 
You'll know you don't drive around with your arms up high like that. Just asking for trouble. Alright. Now, I'm going to say that there's no way in hell we're getting this um, Kubota back up the hill home. And we won't be doing that in this episode anyway, but... Uh, yeah. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> Again, not very straight. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because... It's going to be sold in a minute anyway. Alright. Bloody boom. Look at that. Bang. Bang. Let's get out of here. Cheers, Simo. We are heading to the farmer's markets. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's not cut across there. Because we get bogged. Now, I believe the farmer's market, from memory is down uh, down near the main shop oh too high let's stay in third gear don't look at my loading job right <laughs> don't judge me I love the way the snow sits in the trees. Man. See, I'm a big sook when it comes to heat. I hate working in the heat. Um, just doesn't doesn't sit well with this bogan, right? Um, I know I'm an Aussie and I should. I can tolerate a fair bit of heat. And I've worked in fucking 40 plus degree days. Don't worry about that. And I've, I've done my fucking time in it. To the point where I'm just like a burnt crisp. Um, I just don't like it. Right. I much prefer working in like on a frosty morning in the cold. Even if I've got to work with water. Which I have done. Plenty of irrigation and frosty like below 5 degree mornings. Um, and yeah I just prefer it I like I just rug the fuck up don't ya there's only so much you know you can do to get cool like, until you're basically walking around butt naked with your old Morton hanging out flapping around in the wind getting caught in machinery and whatnot. but you can always rug up yes can always slap on a jacket, chuck a sock down over the over the family jewels, you know, and uh, you'll be right as rain. Now I ride a Harley Davidson, as you probably uh, have heard in other episodes, and I'll tell you, on a minus five morning. When you're riding a Harley or any motorcycle um, at like 80 to 100 kilometers an hour on the highway, you're going to need some extra junk in the trunk. And I mean some wool socks over your package, ladies and gentlemen, because goddamn, you can frostbite your balls. And no one wants that. No one wants frostbitten balls just jingling like a bell, getting off the bike and it's going ting -a ling a ling ling like your little or it's clacking like those things in the science classroom you know where you lift up one side and you drop it and then the balls spread the energy across and then it fucking flings up the other side and it goes tack 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 you know that's literally what happens to your balls if you caught riding in the snow or in the frost right no one wants that. No one. No one needs that in their life. Alright. 
Come on now, get up this. This could be interesting. Uh, got the foot flat to the floor in third gear. Let's go some first person. Second. Come on now. Yes. And whenever I play this game and I haven't... I'm not recording for you guys, so I always drive first person because I got it set up in such a way that, to me, this is like exactly what I'm sitting in front of. My steering wheel is perfectly lined up. <coughs> uh, I do have my gear shift on the other side because I'm Australian and that's where the shifter is uh, for us. So, in my left hand is where the shifter is. It's all right. doesn't break my immersion too much. And you guys can't see it, so it's, it's no worry there. But I am using the clutch and the shifter like you're supposed to. Holding up traffic too, I can see behind me in the mirror there. I love this mod. This Ford mod, Diesel Division Custom one. It's fucking sassy. I highly recommend you getting it. I've, I have changed the sound though. I didn't like the original sound on it. Um, especially the turbo wine. Oh, I hate that. I'd rather a big fat bloody pipe with no fucking turbo uh, whistle. Just personal preference. I know some people love that shit, but, but not me. All right. I like just throbbing throat fucking... <laughs> Cheeching into the air. Ooh. So I changed the sound to m more suit that. Uh, I did record a Cummins to do it. Just from the old YouTubes. Whoa! I just sent that thing flying. God damn. Now, nearly there. Get this done and then we'll end the episode there. Went over the hour mark, I'm sure. That's all right. I'll forgive you this time. Just this once! I guess. No more. All right, now where's the farmer's markets? There it is. Johnson's farmer's markets. Let's go straight ahead. Cut across the road here. Now, where's the cell point? I'm guessing it's out the back. I'll turn this menu on so you can see how much we earn. Uh, I'm going to guess it's this one. Oh, yep, there it goes. Cheers, guys. As soon as I got it, two grand. We are back up to three grand now. I know that time probably would have been better spent logging. Let's get out of the wind here. But uh, we didn't. We got that done instead. So tough titties, all right? Tough fucking titties. Now, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Two hundred of you guys. 200 legends and larrikins and we are growing together we are growing in power and might and uh yeah anyway just want to say a big thank you and uh we'll see you in the next episode alrighty guys cheers